Hey guys, my name is Kenny and welcome back. Or welcome if this is your first time here. <laughs> anyway, as you guys can tell from the title, today's video is going to be super duper exciting. Masusubukan na natin sa wakas itong makeup line ng Shein. Yung name nga pala ng makeup brand nila is She Glam. And ayun, sabi ko sa self ko na I want to try as many products as I can sa budget ko. And I'm so happy because I believe I only spent like 2,000 plus. Parang wala pang 2,500. And sobrang dami ko na pamili guys. And actually almost full face to guys. Ang wala lang ako I believe is pang kilay, eyeliner, tsaka primer. Again, hindi po ako nakabili ng primer from Shein, kaya yung gagamitin ko na lang is itong Hamish Artless Glow Base. Which is actually one of my favorites and current go-to, kaya gamitin natin siya. Okay na okay itong primer na to guys. Especially if you want to achieve that very glow from within sa base nyo. I mean, look at that, diba? Sobrang glowy, nakaagad tignan ng skin. Tapos kapag ka naglagay ka ng foundation, parang nagmimix sila and nagmimelt together. And sobrang nice. Anyway, ito yung foundation na nabili ko from Shein or She Glam and yung tawag sa kanya is the She Glam Complexion Pro Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation. 435 yung peresyo na to, kaya sana match. <laughs> Kasi diba kung hindi nakakaiyak. Ang mahal niya guys. Ngayon pa lang na iniisip ko, tapos hindi ko pa nakikita yung loob. Parang may iyak ako pagka mali. <laughs> anyway, this one comes in 30 shades which is actually super impressive. But ayun nga, ang hirap kasi bumili ng foundation online. Hindi mo alam kung match ba sa'yo, ba? Kaya sana talaga guys. Please Lord. <laughs> Also, quick disclaimer nga lang pala na itong mga product na gagamitin natin, hindi ko pa na-open yung box. Tinanggal ko lang yung pinaka-plastic na nagpo-protect sa box, but other than that, hindi ko pa nakikita. Kaya, ayun nga, hindi ako sure. Going back dito sa foundation, yung first claim nila is, it is formulated with skin-loving ingredients, meron siyang CBD oil, it is lightweight, breathable, it won't clog your pores, long-lasting siya, and also matte yung finish. Daming claims! But anyway, yung shade nga palang kinuha ko is Shell. Wow! Oh my God! Ang social, may pa velvet pouch, guys! In fairness, tapos guys, look at the cap! And ayan guys, this is how the bottle looks like. Super sleek. It is made of glass. And etong cap, grabe, hindi ako maka-get over. Sobrang ganda niya, guys. It reminds me of Pat McGrath. Ganong vibes. Shade-wise, I have a strong feeling na medyo close sa aking skin base dito sa bottle. But of course, hindi tayo pwedeng magsalita ng tapos kasi hindi pa natin nasusubukan. And ayan guys, eto yung consistency ng foundation and for me ha, parang medyo close siya sa super stay. Wow! Oh my God! Look at that coverage. I was actually expecting na light yung coverage niya, but it's not. Look at that, guys. Dami niyang na-cover. And I'm so happy, guys, kasi yung shade match, sobrang ganda kasi close talaga sa kulay ng skin ko. Ang ganda niya, guys. Oh my God. First impression lang to, by the way, guys, ha? But based on how it looks like sa skin, so far, I'm liking it. I-layer natin siya dito. And look at that, guys. Sobrang konti na lang nung visible na dark spots. Ang flawless tingnan ng skin. Grabe. And ayan, guys. Guys, grabe, look at the difference. I'm so happy. Grabe, ang ganda. And hindi siya cakey ha, in fairness, kahit close up. Especially dito sa area na to guys, which is may creases sa akin. Hindi nga lang siya ganun ka-lightweight guys, because definitely mafe-feel nyo talagang merong foundation. But it feels comfortable pa rin naman. Konting-konti lang yung difference guys. Actually, almost same naman sila. Pero parang mas may coverage lang to ng slight. But either way, mapabrush or sponge man yung gamit, it looks amazing sa skin. Munti ko na rin makalimutang i-mention na kahit nga pala brush yung gamit ko kanina, hindi siya streaky. For first impressions, for me, I like this foundation a lot. Definitely, one of the best foundations na nasubukan ko lately. Ito naman yung concealer na nabili ko guys. And yung tawag sa kanya is the Versatile Flawless Concealer. And yung price niya is 130 pesos lang. Super impressive, di ba? Kasi hindi siya mabigat sa bulsa, tapos 25 grams na siya, ha? Lightweight daw siya and long-lasting. Tapos, nakaka-cover ng dark circles, nakaka-brighten, highly pigmented, easy to blend, and light as air. And ayan, guys, this is how the packaging looks like. And in fairness, for its price, ang dami niyang laman. Ooh! Tumutulo na siya! <laughs> hindi ko pa ginagalaw, lumalabas na yung ano, charot. <laughs> and mukhang okay pang highlight yung shade kasi lighter siya sa skin tone ko.
Wow! Look at that! It is so good! In fairness, I'm really impressed dito sa mga base na sinusubukan natin, ha? Same sa foundation na sinubukan natin kanina, this one as well, medium to full siya. And hindi mabigat sa under eye. And sobrang perfect ng shade kasi kung i-compare nyo sa wala, di ba? Sobrang bright nitong meron. It is not dry and cakey as well. Actually, sobrang hydrated tignan ng under eye. Tapos hindi siya nagsasettle sa mga fine lines. Maganda siya, guys! Imagine, ha? For less than 150. And again, the coverage is fantastic kasi nakaka-cover ng imperfections and also nakaka-brighten talaga siya. I'm so, 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 so happy with this concealer, guys. Ang ganda. In fairness kay Shein, ha? So far, so good. Of course, we also have a powder para iset yung face and yung tawag sa nabili ko is the Baked Glow Setting Powder. Anim yung shade na meron sila, guys. Sobrang nakaka-impress yung color selection. Look at that. Grabe, diba? Sobrang nakaka-impress. And dito naman sa isang to, yung claims is weightless siya. Hindi siya cakey and greasy tapos it lasts the whole day. Sana maganda, no? Oh my God. Mm, shit, wait. Bakit tinawag yung translucent tapos may glitters? Anyway, ayan guys. Ito yung packaging niya. Nalukot ako. Nakakainis sa kalako. Tuloy-tuloy na yung magandang mangyayari. It's a prank. Charot. It feels very soft. In fairness naman. Ooh. Mukhang may white cast. Hindi ko nga lang sure kung makikita nyo guys. Pero meron siyang pinong-pinong glitter. Hindi naman ganun ka OA. But ayoko siyang gamitin. Ooh. Parang hindi siya translucent, be. White siya, putik. ba diba, ang puti niya? Panigurado may white cast to. Huwag na natin ituloy. <laughs> Ayoko na ganito yung powder, guys. Magkakanda leche-leche lang yung base ko. Kaya, itigil na natin. Ayoko mabad drip. <laughs> Ito naman yung gagamitin natin for contouring and bronzing. And yung tawag sa kanya is She Glam 6 Color Stereo Palette. Palette. <laughs> palette. Face Palette. Ayun kasi guys. Huwag kayong judgmental. <laughs> Tatlo yung options na meron sila guys. And this one is only 290 pesos. Ganitong kalaking product guys. Halos kasing laki ng mukha ko. 290 pesos lang. Ang gaganda ng mga shade guys. Look at that. Etong dalawang shades na to pwede yung gamitin pang highlight ng under eye or kaya ng T-zone. This one merong shimmer kaya pang highest points ng face. Pwedeng pwede. Tapos etong shade na to and this one okay na okay for bronzing. And eto namang nasa gitna. Medyo ano siya neutral yung kulay kaya pwedeng pang contour slash bronze. Ooh, ang soft ng powder guys. Pinong-pino siya. Diba? Look at the shades. Sobrang perfect. Especially this one. Sa under eye ko, okay na okay to. Tapos etong banana shade, sobrang okay niya if morena kayo. Dito naman sa highlighting shade, yung merong shimmer. Actually, super light lang nung shimmer niya. Kaya feeling ko hindi ko siya magagamit. And grabe yung pigmentation. Definitely, you don't need a lot. Kasi look at that, diba? Sobrang intense nung pigment. Eto yung shade na gamitin natin, guys. And this one is called Nobel Tint. And wow, hindi siya ganun ka-powdery, guys, ha? Very minimal lang yung fallout. And ayan, i-apply na natin siya. Ha? Maganda yung kulay niya ha, in fairness. Okay, sa akin yung kulay na to guys. Actually, yung kulay niya reminds me of the Vice Cosmetics in the shade for sure. Tapos mabilis siyang i-blend guys. Hindi patchy and hindi siya yung sobrang powdering tignan. And ayan, look at that, diba? Talaga nagkaroon na ng hollow dito. Nagawa niya ng shadow. Okay na okay tong palette na to guys. Especially kung nagme-makeup kayo ng ibang tao. Kung makeup artist kayo, ang daming kulay na pwede nyo magamit and talagang masusulit nyo siya. Tapos para gawing mas sharp and malinis yung contour, etong first color sa palette yung ipang highlight natin and ipang sa set. Overall for me guys, I really like this palette. Sobrang sulit na nito guys for less than 300 pesos. Kasi diba lumalabas na each pan parang wala pang 50 pesos. Ito naman yung eyeshadow na nabili ko sa Shein. And yung tawag dito is the She Glam Breeze Eyeshadow Palette. 290 pesos yung price nito guys. And nakasulat lang dito na claims is long wearing siya and smudge proof. Which is kind of weird kasi diba? I mean if this one is a cream product, siguro magagets ko pa. Pero powder eh. This is how the actual component looks like. Sobrang nice nung packaging niya guys. And maganda din yung quality. And tanggalin ko muna yung film. Ayan, look at that, diba? Sobrang nice ng mga shades inside. Ito yung swatches na mga matte shades. And this one lang yung medyo patchy, guys. And hindi ganun ka-intense yung pigmentation. What the fuck? Wow. Ayun lang masasabi ko, guys. Wow. Ito yung shade na gagamitin ko for transition. In fairness sa pigment, guys, ha? Makapit siya sa lid. Usually kasi, di ba, kapag ka mga ganitong shade, especially mga pastel, kapag ka in mo siya sa lid, tapos binlend, para sumasama lang siya sa hangin. <laughs> so far, okay siya, guys. Walang fallout, which is perfect. Sobrang linis pa nung under eye ko. Ang cute! I love it! Sobrang pretty nung pagka-blue niya. Para siyang bubble gum. Anyway, this time, eto namang lavender shade yung kunin natin. And sobrang happy ko guys na itong palette na ito yung kinuha ko kasi wala akong masyadong ganitong shade sa collection ko. I love the combination and this color as well guys, kitang kita siya. Using a flat brush, itong shade naman na yung kukunin ko. Tapos, ilalagay ko lang siya doon sa parts na merong lavender. Wow, this is so nice! Oh my god! 
Ang ganda niya. Sobrang fun. After this one, eto namang shade na to yung kunin natin. Mas darker ng konti. Tapos, ilagay natin siya sa center. Honestly, sobrang random lang nito guys ha. So, don't expect too much sa eye makeup. I'm just literally testing the eyeshadow to see kung paano siya mag-adhere and mag-perform. And so far, so good. I like how it looks like and also kung paano siyang kumapit. And this time, using a much smaller brush, eto namang blue yung kunin natin. Tapos, ayan guys, ilagay lang natin siya sa outer corner. This one medyo may fallout, so be careful. Tapos, i-drag din natin siya pa loob para mag-blend sa center kasi medyo ano eh, parang sobrang laki ng space ng light colors. Para lang medyo maging smoky. Ayan, just keep on blending para ma-achieve natin yung transition na light to dark. And kapag ka may fallout guys, ang gawin nyo lang is kumuha kayo ng large powder brush tapos paangat para matanggal siya kasi kung i-drag nyo pa baba, kakalat lang siya and kakapit sa base. In fairness, maganda yung kinalabasan guys kahit hula-hula. And also dito sa lower lash line guys, maglagay na din tayo ng blue. But main Only if focus lang natin siya sa outer half. Tapos make sure na kino connect yun sa dito guys, ha para walang gap. Overall for me guys, I really enjoyed this eyeshadow palette. Maganda yung pigmentation and also kumakapit talaga sa skin kahit walang primer. And also look at that, di ba? Ang lalaki ng pan kaya sobrang sulit niya. Obviously na kapag lagay nako ng lashes, but actually may nabili ako guys kay Papa. Look at that. Buti na lang wala pang 150 to guys. Kaya hindi masyado nakakapanghinayang. Pero ang pangit niya, garabi. Di ba tignan nyo naman? Parang sobrang tamad na tamad yung gumawa kasi hindi niya pinagpantay. Mag-blush naman tayo this time. And actually, I have here two options. Isang powder and isang cream. Both of them looks promising kasi kaya napabili ako ng dalawa. And mahilig naman ako sa blush eh. Kaya carry lang. Dead ma. Dito muna tayo sa powder mag-start. And yung tawag dito is She Glam Cosmic Crystal Mousse Blush. 195 pesos yung price nito. Tatlo yung shades na meron. And yung shade na nakuha ko is si Rose Before Bros. Super cute ng name. Tapos yung claims niya is meron siyang creamy texture and it is long wearing tapos highly pigmented. This is how the packaging looks like. Plastic yung sleeve. Tapos yung pinaka actual component is made of acrylic. And as you can see, para siyang easy and company na blush. Ganun yung vibes. Medyo matigas siya. Tapos kahit diinan mo, parang walang kumakapit sa finger. Sobrang sheer guys. Look at that. Ayun o, kahit diinan ko siya guys. Wala talaga. What the fuck? Tignan nyo sa sobrang diin ko na ano ko na yung pinakapan. Nahit ko na. Pero wala pa din be. Eww. Parang siyang naglilibag. Parang nagbubuo-buo siya na ewan. Buti na lang dalawa yung option natin. Nakakaloka. Kasi kung hindi, di ba? Wala akong gagamitin blush. Tignan nyo naman. Swatches pa lang yung ginagawa natin. Hindi pa naka-apply sa face. Pero ngarag na ngarag na. Haggard na. Tsaka nito guys, pang basurahan na to. Ayoko siya. Anyway, so at yung second blush that we have. This is a liquid blush again. And yung tawag sa kanya is the Color Bloom Liquid Blush. Eight yung shades na meron dito. And yung price niya is 243. And eto guys, yung actual component. Super nice. Super fun. Feminine and girly. Tapos once you open it, ooh, para siyang ano? Chart. This one is swipe right. Wow, ang ganda ng shade. And eto naman si risky business. Grabe guys. Wow. Oh my god. I cannot wait to apply this. Ano yun siya guys? It is very easy to blend. Ang ganda. Tapos may chocolate. Eto ng shade na risky business yung subukan natin guys. And to apply, ang gagawin ko is ilalagay ko muna siya sa likod ng kamay. Ayan guys. Ganito ng amount. Then after that, using a brush, ipick up lang natin. Ano yun? Ay apply lang natin siya sa highest point ng cheek. Maganda siya guys. Ha. And in fairness, hindi nali lift yung foundation. Since liquid siya, parang nagme-melt lang siya and kumakapit sa base. And siguro dahil din sa warmth ng ating skin, kaya nagme-melt pa siyang lalo. Sobrang nice nung pagka-pink. It looks very natural. Di ba look at that? Ang lakas lang baka sweet girl nung kulay. Sobrang ganda nung pagka-pink niya. Hindi siya yung matingkad na pink and hindi din naman siya yung sobrang muted na parang maputla na. And even though, kompleto na yung base, kapag kapinatong siya on top of powder, sobrang ganda pa din. Bongga! Bet ko to. Babae! Mm, sorry. So yeah, overall for me guys, I like this one. I highly recommend. I'm very sure magugustuhan nyo to guys. Especially for everyday. And again, yung mga shades na meron ako are Risky Business which is yung gamit ko and also si Swipe Right. For my highlight, ito yung gagamitin natin and yung tawag dito is the She Glam 3D Pro Face Palette. And I think this one isang shade lang yung meron and that is si Dune. Kasi walang ibang option eh. And yung price nito is 243 pesos. And ito siya once you open it, meron tayong isang 
isang cream highlight, dalawang powder highlight, and isang bronzer. Colors are absolutely nice, but I feel like this is not for me. For deeper complexion to kasi masyadong dark for my skin. Sobrang creamy nung cream, in fairness. Sobrang nice. Ang ganda ng pagka-luminous niya sa skin, and walang chunks of glitter. Pinong-pino yung pigment niya. Walang fallouts, which is good. And madaming napipick up yung brush. And mag-start tayo sa tip ng nose. Yup! Tama nga guys, medyo dark yung kulay niya sa akin. Masyadong gold. But as you can see, talagang nag-glow siya. Oh my god! How I wish this one is a little bit lighter. Pero ang ganda ng glow niya guys. Look at that. Grabe! Sobrang prominent nung glow na binibigay niya sa skin. Sayang lang talaga masyadong dark for my skin. But it's nice. In terms of formula, blendability, and how it looks like sa skin, okay na okay siya guys. Yung kulay lang talaga yung hindi talaga perfect for my skin. Actually, parang nga tong ano eh, dupe ng Huda Beauty highlighting palette. Kaya, kung naghahanap kayo ng cheaper alternative for that, eto guys, i-check nyo siya. Anyway, this time, sa mga lip products naman tayo, and as you can see, medyo madami akong binili. Ang dami kasi nilang magagandang lip products, guys. Kaya sobrang hindi ko napigilan. Sabi ko, kailangan ko mag-try ng maraming options. And dito tayo mag-start sa She Glam Lip Sip Hydrating Lipstick. Apat yung shades na meron dito, and yung price is 194 Tapos yung claims is, it is lightweight, high shine, and buildable yung coverage niya. So, I'm assuming that this one is basically a glossy lipstick. Hopefully, tama. And sana ganun nga. Kasi mahilig ako sa ganun eh. This is how the packaging looks like. Super sleek, super nice. I love it. Tapos, slim. Yung pinaka-bullet. First color na susubukan ko is si Twin Flame. Ah, may chocolate din siya, guys. Parang tinunaw na chocolate ganun. Ooh! Wow! Oh my God! It feels so nice sa lips! You guys know how much I love glossy lips, and this is definitely right up my alley. Look at that! It is so good! And ang perfect ng kulay. Grabe! Parang ayoko na siyang burahin. Okay na to. Tapos na. True to its claim, it is very lightweight, very comfortable on the lips. Definitely very hydrating kasi kitang-kita naman. Sobrang glossy niya, di ba? Feeling ko kailangan ko siyang kompletuhin, guys. Oh my God! It is so good. Ang perfect. Next shade na susubukan natin is Infatuation. And hopefully, maganda din siya. Mmm! This one is nice as well. <laughs> Ang gaganda. Grabe. What the fuck? Same sa unang shade. Perfect for everyday. Very MLBB. And same lang ng formula, guys. Consistent naman. Hydrating, lightweight, and comfortable sa lips. Ito naman yung subukan nating lipstick. And this one is called the Cosmic Crystal Matte Lipstick. Apat din yung shades na meron sila dito, guys. And $1.95 yung price. Tapos yung description and claims is creamy, hydrating yung formula. It won't dry your lips. And highly pigmented. This is how the packaging looks like it's made of plastic tapos yung pinaka bullet niya is acrylic para siyang yung BLK na matte lipstick Ooh, you know what this looks like? Mukha siyang powder pout <laughs> This one smells like chocolate as well Anyway, first shade is Mixed Emotions Mas matte lang yung finish ng powder pout kasi this one eh, when you look at it especially closely Medyo may shine siya. It's not completely matte, which is kinda misleading kasi diba, matte yung ano nila, claim. But it looks really nice. Parang pillowy and ang soft na ng lips with this one. Sobrang light. Okay na okay sa akin to guys. I like this one as well. Next shade that we have is called Ladies First. This one, I'm not the biggest fan kasi medyo patchy. Tignan nyo, especially sa inner corner. And probably the reason why is because it is light. Yeah, tapos kahit i-layer nyo siya, since nga light and may pagka-peachy yung color, nagpipick through pa din yung ano, kulay sa ilalim. So yeah, ayun guys, for those of you na medyo 50-50 or hindi sure kung susubukan nyo ba tong brand na to, wag na kayo magdalawang isip guys. Go ahead, itest nyo yung mga product kasi... Ang daming magaganda. And to be honest, sa akin guys ha, ang parang hindi ko lang naman totally nagustuhan is the powder. Which is, nasaan na ba? Tinapon ko na ata. Charot. Hindi maganda yung itsura niya sa skin guys. Kasi nga meron siyang konting shimmer kaya parang ang off tignan. Ito din pala guys, yung cream blush. I hate this one. Waste of money. Wag na wag nyo siyang i-add to cart kasi maiinis lang kayo, I swear. <laughs> Hindi siya maganda at all. Sayang pera nyo dito. In terms of favorites, I have a few. And ipapakita ko of course. First one is itong hydrating lipstick. I highly, highly recommend this. Go ahead and try this. I promise. 
sobrang magugustuhan nyo siya, especially if dry yung lips nyo. Etong liquid blush, sobrang nagustuhan ko din because it looks very natural sa skin, it's easy to blend, it's lightweight, and parang wala kang nilagay. Eto ding eyeshadow, nagustuhan ko siya kasi ang gaganda ng mga shades inside. It's very easy to blend, maganda yung kapit sa lid, and also pigmented siya. And lastly, etong foundation guys, sobrang bet ko siya. I know it's too early to say kasi nga hindi ko pa siya na-wear test ng sobrang tagal, but I've been wearing my base for like more than 2 hours now. And up until now, okay pa din siya. Hindi pa rin siya nagkikake. Nag-crease lang ng konti sa gilid ng ilong which is normal kasi oily yung skin ko. But the rest of my face, yung ibang area, okay na okay pa din and parang bagong apply siya. Pinaka-close ko siyang maiko-compare sa Superstay Foundation. Ganun yung feeling niya and yung itsura sa skin. But to be honest, parang mas gusto ko to kasi hindi siya ganun ka-dry tignan compared sa Superstay. That one kasi may tendency na maging sobrang dry tignan sa skin. Especially kapag kasinat na ng powder, unlike this one, hindi ganun ka-dry tignan. Okay pa din, maganda. Sana nakatulong tong video na to or yung review ko sa mga product ng Shein para makapag-decide kayo kung alin ba sa mga product nila yung i-check out nyo. Siyempre, kung merong makeup brand na gusto niyong subukan ko, just let me know sa comment section para ma-check ko and also, you know, para mabili ko. Ayun lang kasi yung excuse ko eh, para makapag-online shopping ako. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Stay safe. And I hope to see all of you again on my next one.